Advanced three-dimensional imaging, such as computed tomography or CT, is routinely performed for evaluation of cancer, including lung tumors in dogs. It's used to determine extent of disease and also provide assistance for surgical planning. However, there's much information that's not clinically used within CT data. These unevaluated pieces of data may influence prognosis and treatment response. What if we could determine cancer type, behavior, prognosis, or even what treatments would be most effective for each dog based on a simple, non-invasive CT scan? This would enable us to provide clients with more accurate information prior to performing invasive and risky interventions, such as biopsy and surgery, which are costly and not always safe to perform. Each CT is made up of many pixels. Each pixel contains unique data that directly relates to the area of the tumor being imaged. Textural features describe the pixels and therefore act as a way to indirectly quantify tumor heterogeneity. It's well known that tumors are heterogeneous, meaning they are not composed of uniform tumor tissue. High heterogeneity is linked to more aggressive tumor behavior in human lung tumors. And it's reasonable to think that the same may be true for dogs given similar tumor behavior. Textural features are collected on each CT scan, but currently are largely ignored because we don't know how to use the, this information yet. Our pilot study sought to determine if CT textural features of lung tumors in dogs could predict tumor type and outcome. Retrospectively, dogs that had their tumors surgically removed and also had pre-surgical CT scans were evaluated so we could compare textural features to final biopsy diagnosis. Two features were significantly different between primary lung carcinoma tumors and non-carcinoma tumors. This is important because dogs with carcinomas generally have a better survival than dogs with non-carcinoma tumors, such as sarcomas. Additional textural features were associated with cancer progression and survival time after surgery. We also showed that dogs with larger tumors had a much shorter survival than dogs with smaller tumor volumes. Textural features are automatically collected during routine imaging, and our study reveals there may be a way to use this information in the clinic. Our long-term goal is to determine how this overlooked CT data can be used to improve treatment, provide prognostic information before surgery, and most importantly, predict which treatments may be best for each patient. We have the opportunity to harness textural features to better treat cancer in both veterinary and human patients. Thank you.